how to take in the seeds of pants. That's coming up. Hello, fashion sewers. If you're new to your channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And if you are interested in how to sewing techniques, how to refashion new or old clothing, and I also do video tutorials on sewing lookbooks. So that is where I have a collection of garments that I design, pattern, and then make. And if you're interested in that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So I am going to be changing these pants. They are actually a lovely pair of pants. The silhouette of the pants is what I really like. They are too big for me, so I am going to have to take in the seat and also the waistband. Originally, I, I believe they were meant to be at the waistline of you know whatever size it's meant to be after, on a person. But it's not going to be on my waist, so I'm going to drop it below my waistline. So it's kind of sitting in my hip area. But I, I, I have tried them on and I do like that look. So it's kind of like a, a man's kind of fit. It's um, a low crutch and it's probably a low crutch because it's too big for me as well. Um, but let's see how we get on. So I think what I'll do, I'll try them on so that you can have a look and see what it looks like on me and what. So as you can see, I have the pants on now. Hopefully you can get the full length of the pants. And it's sitting on my waistline, my natural waistline. And if I turn to the side, you can see that it's quite big. So we're going to be taking that amount out of the seat area, out the yeah, there's quite a lot to take in. So if you have a look at that, there's quite a lot there to take in. But I do love the shape of these pants. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lower it to here because that will give me the look that I'm trying to achieve. So you see, it kind of has that kind of male look to the pants, you know, the silhouette, the cut of it. I do, look, I do like that and it looked great with ankle boots. So that means I won't have to take out as much in the back because I have it lower down my body. So I'm going to take some along that seam there and also the waistline. I'm not going to interfere with the front or the side seam because it's sitting quite nicely at the side seam as well. And it's, it's, it's roomy. But that's okay, I'm happy with that. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to, to do that. And I just love that look. It's, it's a slouchy look to it. So I'm working on the back of the pants and we are going to be removing this belt loop, the middle belt loop here. So you need my seam ripper. And it has to be really gentle with them, removing belt loops because they use a very, very narrow width in order to attach them into place. So I'm going to remove that and then I'm going to remove part of the waistband about there to there. It has a well pocket at the back. So it may look a little bit weird, but um, it's a sacrifice that you've got to make really when you are refashioning clothes. So I'm going to remove the back loop, belt loop. So I've now removed the belt loop. So that is what it is looking like now. That's it. And made a little hole as well, <sighs> and, but, which won't matter because that's going to be taken in. So that's the reason why I say you've got to be really careful when you're removing 
belt loops because the stitch length is so small. So the next thing is to remove a section of the waistband. So as you can see, it has that men's tailoring type waistband finish to the inside of the pants. So it will be a case of doing that back. And I've got a row of stitching there that I'm going to remove. Again, you just have to go really carefully. And then once you're happy with that, then pull it apart slightly like so. So you just pull it apart like so and then you can get your seam ripper in there and then continue to remove the stitching. So there we are. I'll just take a look a bit more. There. And then I just remove the stitching from the waistband, the back. So this has been released, the inner side of the waistband, and then I'm just going to remove that stitching for the back. So again, when you actually start to open up and look inside ready-made garments, you find some interesting stuff, because this stitching here is very thick. It's almost a three, one, three different stitches, three threads, three lengths of thread that makes up a stitch. Yeah. That's industrial sewing. So again, it's a case of going really carefully so that you know I actually don't think I'm actually removing any of the stitching that applies to keeping stitching through both layers. Look, my finger isn't poking through, so I've, I've removed a white thread here. But this is still attached. It's still attached. So... Oh, that's interesting. So it's this black stitching here that I can see, in which the white stitching is kind of covering it over. It's not there for a moment. Let's see if I can get my finger through a little section that I've just. Yes. So um, I'm going to. Remove the stitching, the white stitching, and also the black stitching as well. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So I've now removed this section of stitching to the back. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn the pants inside out. I'm going to put one leg into the other because that will be a lot easier. And there we now have, okay, I've just seen still attached to the, yeah, the waistline. There. 
So I now know how much I'm going to be removing. Centimeters up. And I'm going to put a pin in place. So I'm actually pinning how much I'm going to be taking out of the pants at the waistline here and making sure my pants is flat as possible. And then I'm going to get pins. You can mark this with, you know, a marker, Taylor's chalk, whatever marker you prefer. And then you're going to taper it into the crutch, the crutch line of the pants, which is here. I'm just using pins as a marker. You can also use pins as your marker if you wish. That's what I'm doing here. That's a technique that I'm using. So it's gone right into that original line. So I'm going to start sewing and I'm going to start sewing from this area, from the push line all the way to the waistline, making sure I don't catch the pocket in. And then I'll show you what to do with the waistband. So Take it to the sewing machine and do that line of stitching first. I've now sewn the seam all the way to the waistline and I'm going to cut that. So we've got like an overlock seam that's happening here. Um, a closed seam. I so hate closed seams. Oh, so I could do it. No, because I'm running. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting that away. And then I'm going to overlock my new seam. So I don't need that. So we're going to now focus on the waistband. So we know, so I'm going to make sure that's measuring the same as my new waistline making sure everything lines up nicely. Yep. And I may just release a bit more of that stitching. Because it's a, a two-piece waistband. And another pin in there. And then I'll take that to my sewing machine and I'll sew a straight line from this end straight down to this end. I've overlocked the back seam and we just need, and I've also sewn the waistband. So we're just going to cut away that excess there. So I don't need that. And then we should hopefully, yep, that feels great. And then we just need to reattach the waistband back to onto the pants. So you just open up the waistband again and you're matching up the centre back seam with the new seam that you created in the waist in a waistband it can be a bit fiddly you can open this a bit more if you wish as well so just matching up those seams and then pop a pin on either side it's really sad. And put a pin on that side and then I'm going to sew that small area there so I'm going to start sewing from there straight stitch to that end so the back 
waistband is now, or the front waistband, is now attached to the waistline. As you can see, there's now a seam running through it. So it's matching up with the seam in the center back of the pants. So the seam in the waistband. So now we need to focus on the inner waistband. So let me just show you what that looks like. So we've got that seam, we've opened up the seam to fasten it out. And then it's a case of just flipping that over like so. Let's just check the back of that. Right. Because it's because we have a seam in the inside waist band, we can't sew it down the way it originally was. I suppose you could, but you'll stop about there and there. So what you can do is just turn it to the right side and then we can sew in to the seam here and that's a method called stitching in the ditch. So what I'll do then, I'll just put a couple of pins, one here on either side of the seam. And then I'll take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in the ditch as they refer to. If you have, I actually have done a video on stitching on a ditch, so I'll link that in the description below. And then the pants will be ready to be tried on and it will be complete. So there we have the stitching in the ditch. It's done there. I'll just show you the inside. So we've got a line of stitching just there. So towards the end of the video, I'll film myself with these pants on. I'll just style it with what I would wear with it and also my ankle boots. Um, I'm happy with the way they've turned out. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please do share. And I will see you next time.